My name is Polly Bergen, and I've got a secret. I've got a secret, starring Gary Moore. Thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome again to another edition of I've Got a Secret. I would like to have you meet the members of our panel whose names are as follows with their faces to match. Bill Cullen, and Betsy Palmer, and Henry Morgan, and Bess Myers. And that's the bunch. Now, Carol, I will not ask you at this given moment to put your blindfolds on, but please keep them at the ready, because in a very quick moment, you are going to have to put them on. Meanwhile, I would like to invite our first contestant to step out, please, if you will, sir. Can you tell our panel what your name is, please? Joseph Casey. This is Mr. Casey. And Mr. Casey is from where? Portland, Maine. From Portland, Maine. Yep. Mr. Casey has a secret which he is going to share with me and with the folks at home. Mr. Casey, will you whisper it to me, please? Wow, we. Well, now, there's two parts to this, believe it or not. Uh, clue me in on the rest of it. <laughs> All right. Now, panel, at this juncture, I do have to ask you, please, to put your blindfolds on. I will tell you that Mr. Casey's secret concerns something that he is going to do. And will you open the curtains, please? All right, now, Bill Cullen, we'll start the questioning with you, please, sir. Mr. Casey, am I correct in assuming that the thing you're going to do is physical? Is this yes. physical, sir? Yes, sir. Uh, when the curtains opened, was the equipment revealed that you will need, or you will use to do this thing? Yes. Uh -huh. Is it something that none of us on the panel could do? I mean, as a reasonable guess. That's right. All right, there's $20 down, $60 to go, and we go, please, to Betsy Palmer. Uh, Mr. Casey, does this involve something um, mechanical, which you use with your hands? Uh, no, this is not something mechanical. I'm going to be answering the questions from now on, and Mr. Casey is kind of occupied at the moment. This smells. I mean, I can smell something. <laughs> <laughs> you know, keep your opinion to yourself. <laughs> no, seriously, I think I do smell something like clay or... Uh... That's me. No. <laughs> Or plaster? Really? Do I really? No, you do not smell anything like plaster, clay or plaster. As a matter of fact, oh. there shouldn't be out anything anything that has any noticeable odor at all. At all. Uh, all right, forty dollars down, forty dollars to go, and we go please to Henry Morgan. Uh, Gary, is Mr. Casey using gymnasium equipment? No, he is not using gymnasium equipment. Is he using something that uh, he invented himself? No, this is not something that he invented himself. Well, it's a kind of equipment, and he's doing something athletic with it, isn't he? Uh, it is definitely athletic in nature. It is not, however, standard athletic equipment. It is only athletic in the sense that he is using it tonight. Is it heavy? Yes, sir, it is heavy. Uh, is it something he had, uh, would, would uh, an ordinary person have it around the house? An ordinary person might very well have this object around the house. Is it, uh, oh boy, bigger than a bread box? Oh boy. <laughs> oh yes, it is considerably bigger than a bread box. Is it the size of a store, a refrigerator, say? Uh different shape, but roughly the same cubic, a number of cubic feet, I would guess. Uh-huh. Is he lifting it up and down? Wait a minute. Is it the size of a piano? <laughs> what makes you ask that question? Yes, it's the size of a piano. Must be something I smelled. $60 down and $20 to go. We go, please, to Bess Meyer. Oh, that's charming. Uh, this piano now, was this there at the beginning of The Secret when we put our blindfolds on? No, the piano was not there at the very beginning of his uh, Is it necessary to find out what this equipment is made of? Uh, that well, you, you can find out by removing your blindfolds right this moment. <laughs> All right, gentlemen. There you go. One moment, we will get the talented Norman Paris out of the way. There goes Norman Paris. <laughs> And here is Mr. Casey, believe it or not. There you go, Mr. Casey. <laughs> Mr. Casey, that is phenomenal. Where, for heaven's sakes, did you learn to do that? 
I've been doing that since I was 17 years old. Were you a professional strong man? Yes, in the circus. In circuses and in carnivals? In carnivals and vaudeville years. When was years. the last time that you did this professionally? I mean, as a regular thing, you know, as a daily thing. Forty years ago. Forty years ago. Now, we... Now, let me ask you, if you don't mind, sir, how old you are now? I'll be 68 pretty soon. 68 pretty soon. I have trouble some morning keeping a dish of oatmeal on my stomach, let alone a piano. <laughs> Mr. Casey, we have great admiration for you, sir. Your Winstons and the money that you have you. certainly earned waiting for you backstage. I'll come back next year on my birthday and do it again. <laughs> All righty, we'll see you then. Take care.